Hey there, I'm the Real Housewife of Snohomish County and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I am, well right now I'm getting rice in the rice cooker for our dinner. And I must say, if you don't have a rice cooker, spend the money and buy one. It is one of the most amazing, amazing appliances. It does all the work for you. And by the way, I always simmer my rice down in chicken stock. It gives it a little more flavor. But back to the show. So I'm super excited to be sharing this recipe with you today. Um, and it's not even the recipe for the entree that I'm excited about. I'm excited about the side dish, and that is blasted broccoli. Now, I know you're thinking, broccoli? Ugh. Well, I'm telling you what, this recipe is a recipe I stumbled upon through a friend who actually knows Miss Anna Rossi, who was on season three of Master Chef. And on her blog, www.braveapron.com, she has a recipe for the most amazing broccoli I've ever had. So that is what I'm working on right now. I have got a head of broccoli that I'm cutting up into the little florets or the little trees. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss these with about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm going to pop it into a 425 degree oven for about 20-25 minutes. And I'm going to roast it. And it's going to be amazing. Now, I've made this recipe once before, and ever since I made it the first time, Michael has been asking for it. I think he could eat this every single day, and he'd be happy. So, let's go ahead and get my sheet tray. Take off my ring here. Get this on. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Another little timer. I'm going to sprinkle this with some kosher salt. I'll give it a couple grinds of fresh black pepper. And I'm going to give it a nice toss. into a 425 degree oven. Again, like I said, you're going to want it on the middle rack and you're going to pop it in for about 20-25 minutes. Alright, so now that that is going, let's get on to our main dish. Now in the fridge, I've had marinating for about 15 minutes two gorgeous 8 ounce halibut fillets. Now, we all know that I am not a fan of seafood, but my Michael is, so I'm making this meal for him. I'm making myself a little filet mignon, but that's a whole other video. So, the halibut fillets have been marinating in a, a mixture that I made earlier, and it comprised of a quarter cup of soy sauce, an eighth a cup of dry sherry, a quarter of a teaspoon of sesame oil, a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of chopped up green onions, and a teaspoon of chopped fresh ginger. You want it chopped super, super fine, and then one clove of minced garlic. And then you bring that to a boil in a saucepan, strain it, and strain out all of the chunks, and then chill it. And once it's down to room temperature, you then marinate your fish in it for about 15 minutes in the refrigerator. And that is where we're at now. So, I have my oven on and I've got the broiler going. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my sheet tray with some cooking spray and we're going to get the fish on there. Now you can use any white fish for this. I just happen to choose halibut. And you're going to want to cook this about 45 inches away from the broiler. And you're going to want to cook it for about 8 to 10 minutes 
um, per inch of thickness of the, the fish that you're cooking. And then about halfway through, so if you're, let's say it's about an inch thick, which this is about an inch thick, at about four to five minutes, I'm going to flip it over so it has a chance to cook on either side. So I'm going to get this under the broiler. Okay, so now that the fish is roasting in the oven and the broccoli is as well, I am going to make what they call a banyukauda, which is going to be a nice sauce to go over the top of this broccoli, and it's going to make it divine. So I'm going to take three tablespoons of butter and I'm going to melt that into one tablespoon, I feel like Paula Deen right here, um, into one tablespoon of olive oil. So we'll get that melting. And to this we're going to add two cloves of garlic that have been minced. You want to mince them pretty fine. And now here's something that might scare some of you, anchovy fillets. Now we all know I'm not a seafood fan, but I know Miss Ann Burrell talks about using them all the time, and she uses them as a secret flavor weapon. And I'm telling you the truth, if you don't know anchovies are in something, you're not going to be able to taste them. It doesn't taste fishy, and it's not like you know that there's a little fish in there or anything like that, because in this, it's going to melt, and it's going to kind of dissolve, and it's going to give it kind of a nutty flavor, and I promise you give it a try, you're gonna like it. Okay, so I've got this on about a medium heat, and I'm going to add my two cloves of minced garlic, and then I'm going to add my, it's already gone, my two cloves, or not my two cloves, my two anchovy fillets. So there's one, See if I can get it out of there without ripping it and ripping it apart. Come on, little guy. You can already see that this one is already starting to dissolve a little bit. Let me get... I used chopsticks for this last time and that really seemed to help me get it out of there. Say, Kind of pack them in there like sardines. Okay, so I got those two in there. Okay. I'm telling you, I promise, they're going to melt down. You're not going to know they're there. I know my mother right now is watching this video going, Ooh, anchovies, gross. And I'm not going to lie, I did that the first time too. So, we're going to want to get this on here, not for too long. We just want it to... So we don't want to burn the garlic. The broccoli smells so good. I just peeked on it in the oven and it's starting to caramelize. It's looking really good. And the other thing I'm going to do, because we like a little heat around here, I'm going to have some crushed red pepper flakes. Is that okay, Anna? Sure hope so. Okay. So this is looking delicious. The anchovies have sufficiently melted. And now I'm going to add just a splash of white wine. And then the juice of half of a lemon. This is a juicy lemon that's already juicing out. Alright, so we're going to let this kind of cook down and reduce. And there you have it. How easy is this? So like I said, do not be afraid of anchovies. I know I still am a little bit, but I'm telling you right now, you won't even know they're in this. So in just a minute, we'll be ready to get, we'll be taking the broccoli out, getting this over the top, dressing it with some toasted almonds, some toasted slivered almonds, and some
Parmigiano Reggiano. So stick with me. Okay, so the broccoli is ready to come out. Now it's been in the oven for about 25 minutes now, and I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see if I can get this close enough to the camera. But it is caramelized and brown, and it smells nutty. It just, it just smells delicious. I cannot believe it. So, my bagna cauda is almost done as well. Let me get this on a nice little platter. Oh, gosh. I can't even describe the smell of this for you. And let's go ahead and make sure not to waste any of this delicious baby powder. Get the garlic and the lemon. Don't forget the butter. Sprinkle some toasted almonds over the top of it. Now I just toasted these in the oven for just a few minutes while I was toasting while I was roasting the broccoli as well. And then, my final touch, some freshly grated Parmesan. You can never have enough cheese. And there you have it, Anna, I hope I did you proud. If you stick with me for one more minute, the fish is about to come out, the rice is almost done, and I'm gonna get this bad boy plated up. Okay, so my halibut is done. My rice is done. It's like everything knew it was time. Either that or I planned correctly, got my timing right, which is amazing. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dish up Michael's plate. He loves, loves his rice. So get that down. And let's go ahead and give him, let me get a bigger spatula. Oh, this fish is just tender. Falling apart even. I sure hope he likes it. Because, sadly, I won't be tasting it. I know, cardinal rule, I'm breaking the cardinal rule, always taste as you go along. Okay. And then let's dish him up some blasted broccoli as well. And I know the plate isn't as beautiful as what it can sometimes be, but the star of this plate is the blasted broccoli. I hope you give this recipe a try. Check out Anna's website at www.braveapron.com. And again, thank you so much, Anna, for letting me feature you and your recipe in this video. And don't forget to continue checking out my blog, www.rhosc.com, and make sure to follow me on Facebook Twitter, and Instagram. And until next time, keep cooking.